Yashar Jasher 64. And Bilam, the son of Beor, was at that time with Angius in the battle. And when he saw that Sepho prevailed over Angius, he fled from there and came to Katim. And Sepho and the children of Katim received him with great honor. For Sepho knew Bilam's wisdom, and Sepho gave unto Bilam many gifts, and he remained with him. And when Sepho had returned from the war, he commanded all the children of Katim to be numbered who had gone into battle with him. And behold, not one was missed. And Sepho rejoiced at this thing, and he renewed his kingdom, and he made a feast to all his subjects. But Sepho remembered not Yahuwah, and considered not that Yahuwah had helped him in battle, and that he had delivered him and his people from the hand of the king of Africa, but still walked in the ways of the children of Katim and the wicked children of Esau to serve other Elohim, which his brethren, the children of Esau, had taught him. It is therefore said, from the wicked goes forth wickedness. And Sepho reigned over all the children of Katim securely, but knew not Yahuwah who had delivered him and all his people from the hand of the king of Africa. And the troops of Africa came no more to Katim to plunder as usual, for they knew of the power of Sepho who had smitten them all at the edge of the sword. So Angius was afraid of Sepho, the son of Eliphaz, and of the children of Katim, all the days. At that time when Sepho had returned from the war, and when Sepho had seen how he prevailed over all the people of Africa, and had smitten them in battle at the edge of the sword, then Sepho advised with the children of Katim to go to Mitzrayim, to fight with the sons of Yaakov and with Pharaoh, king of Mitzrayim. For Sepho heard that the mighty men of Mitzrayim were dead, and that Yosef and his brethren, the sons of Yaakov, were dead, and that all their children, the children of Yashar'el, remained in Mitzrayim. And Sepho considered to go to fight against them and all Mitzrayim to avenge the cause of his brethren, the children of Esau, whom Yosef with his brethren and all Mitzrayim had smitten in the land of Canaan when they went up to bury Yaakov in Hebron. And Sepho sent messengers to Hadad, son of Bidad, king of Edom, and to all his brethren, the children of Esau, saying, Did you not say that you would not fight against the king of Africa, for he is a member of your covenant? Behold, I fought with him and smote him and all his people. Now therefore I have resolved to fight against Mitzrayim, and the children of Yaakov who are there. And I will be revenged of them for what Yosef, his brethren and ancestors, did to us in the land of Canaan when they went up to bury their father in Hebron. Now then, if you are willing to come to me to assist me in fighting against them and Mitzrayim, then shall we avenge the cause of our brethren. And the children of Esau hearkened to the words of Sepho, and the children of Esau gathered themselves together, a very great people, and they went to assist Sepho and the children of Katim in battle. And Sepho sent to all the children of the east and to all the children 
of Yishmael with words like unto these. And they gathered themselves and came to the assistance of Sappho and the children of Ketim in the war upon Mitzrayim. And all these kings, the king of Edom and the children of the east, and all the children of Yishmael, and Sappho, the king of Ketim, went forth and arrayed all their hosts in Hebron. And the camp was very heavy, extending in length a distance of three days' journey, a people numerous as the sand upon the seashore, which cannot be counted. And all these kings and their hosts went down and came against all Mitzrayim in battle and encamped together in the valley of Patrak. And all Mitzrayim heard their report. And they also gathered themselves together, all the people of the land of Mitzrayim and of all the cities belonging to Mitzrayim, about 300,000 men. And the children of Mitzrayim sent also to the children of Yashara'el, who were in those days in the land of Goshen, to come to them in order to go and fight with these kings. And the men of Yashara'el assembled and were about 150 men. And they went into battle to assist the Mitzrim. And the men of Yashara'el and of Mitzrayim went forth, about 300,000 men and 150 men. And they went toward these kings to battle, and they placed themselves from without the land of Goshen, opposite Patharak. And the Mitzrim believed not in Yashara'el to go with them, in their camps together for battle. For all the Mitzrim said, Perhaps the children of Yashara'el will deliver us into the hand of the children of Esau and Yishmael, for they are their brethren. And all the Mitzrim said unto the children of Yashara'el, Remain you here together in your stand, and we will go and fight against the children of Esau and Yishmael. And if these kings should prevail over us, then come you all together upon them and assist us. And the children of Yashara'el did so. And Sepho, the son of Eliphaz, the son of Esau, king of Kittim, and Hadad, the son of Bedad, king of Edom, and all their camps, and all the children of the east, and children of Yishmael, a people numerous as sand, encamped together in the valley of Patrok, opposite Tachpanechech. And Bilam, the son of Beor, the Arami, was there in the camp of Sepho, for he came with the children of Ketim to the battle. And Bilam was a man highly honored in the eyes of Sappho and his men. And Sappho said unto Bilam, Try by divination for us, that we may know who will prevail in the battle, we or the Mitzrim. And Bilam rose up and tried the art of divination, and he was skillful in the knowledge of it. But he was confused and the work was destroyed in his hand. And he tried it again, but it did not, did not succeed. And Balaam despaired of it and left it and did not complete it. For this was from Yahuwah, in order to cause Sappho and his people to fall into the hand of the children of Yashara'el, who had trusted in Yahuwah, the Elohim, of their ancestors in their war. And Sappho and Hadad put their forces in battle array, and all the Mitzrim 
went alone against them, about 300,000 men, and not one man of Yashadael was with them. And all the Mitzrim fought with these kings opposite Patrak and Tachpanach Sech. And the battle was severe against the Mitzrim. And the kings were stronger than the Mitzrim in that battle. And about 180 men of Mitzrim fell on that day, and about 30 men of the forces of the kings. And all the men of the Mitzrim fled from before the kings. So the children of Esau and Yishmael pursued the Mitzrim, continuing to smite them unto the place where was the camp of the children of Yashar'el. And all the Mitzrim cried unto the children of Yashar'el, saying, Hasten to us and assist us and save us from the hand of Esau, Yishmael, and the children of Ketim. And the 150 men of the children of Yashar'el ran from their station to the camps of these kings. And the children of Yashar'el cried unto Yahuwah, Elohehem, to deliver them. And Yahuwah hearkened to Yashar'el. And Yahuwah gave all the men of the kings into their hand. And the children of Yashar'el fought against these kings. And the children of Yashara'el smote about 4,000 of the king's men. And Yahuwah threw a great consternation in the camp of the kings, so that the fear of the children of Yashara'el fell upon them. And all the hosts of the kings fled from before the children of Yashara'el. And the children of Yashara'el pursued them continuing to smite them unto the borders of the land of Cush. And the children of Yashara'el slew of them in the road yet two thousand men. And of the children of Yashara'el not one fell. And when the Mitzrim saw that the children of Yashara'el had fought with such few men with the kings, and that the battle was so very severe against them, all the Mitzrim were greatly afraid of their lives on account of the strong battle. And all Mitzrim fled, every man hiding himself from the arrayed forces. And they hid themselves in the road, and they left Yashara'el to fight. And the children of Yashara'el inflicted a terrible blow upon the king's men, and they returned from them after they had driven them to the border of the land of Cush. And all Yashara'el knew the thing which the men of Mitzrayim had done to them, that they had fled from them in battle and had left them to fight alone. So the children of Yashara'el also acted with cunning, and as the children of Yashara'el returned from battle, they found some of the Mitzrim in the road and smote them there. And while they slew them, they said unto them these words, Wherefore did you go from us and leave us, being a few people, to fight against these kings who had a great people to smite us? that you might thereby deliver your own souls. And of some which Yashara'el met on the road, they, the children of Yashara'el, spoke to each other, saying, Smite, smite, for he is a Yishmaeli, or an Edami, or from the children of Ketim. And they stood over him and slew him. And they knew that he was a Mitzri. And the children of Yashara'el did these things cunningly against the Mitzrim, because they had deserted them in battle and had fled from them. 
And the children of Yashadael slew of the men of Mitzrayim in the road in this manner, about two hundred men. And all the men of Mitzrayim saw the evil which the children of Yashadael had done to them. So all Mitzrayim feared greatly the children of Yashadael, for they had seen their great power, and that not one man of them had fallen. So all the children of Yashadael returned with joy on their road to Goshen, and the rest of Mitzrayim returned each man to his place.